Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jack's Off to another adventure. So recently, I got my stimulus check from Grandpa Biden and Coach here also, so we're gonna go stimulate the local economy. And why not come to Chattown, my favorite place, to invest here in this community. So today, right Jack's Off to Chattown again. Let's go. All right, so nowadays, normally on weekends, they would close off Grand Street, the touristy street, as you can see, so people can walk on it like they own it. And let's see what's going on here. I see a bunch of cars here. Is there a car show going on here? Oh, no, it is a car show. Yo! Look at Coach. He's a car enthusiast. Super excited. Wow, what's going on here? There's a lot of people here. Is this like the new attraction of Chinatown now? Non-Chinese cars in Chinatown being the main attraction. Yeah, where's the Honda? that's Japanese though. What's the Chinese car? Chinese dirt. Where's the Hong Chi cars? Where's the Hong Chi, yeah. But wow, look at all these cars. Wow. You know what? I'm a Chata enthusiast. I'm not a car enthusiast. Let me hand it off to Coach. He can probably like give you a better explanation here. So, Coach. All right, this is Coach. Let's see what kind of cars they have here. Looks like a second generation Audi R8. And a nice little orange right here. It's very nice. Custom HRE wheels. Carbon ceramic brakes. It's good stuff. And looks like it's supercharged. And here we have a 5 liter Mustang. Very nice shade of blue. Looks like the guy painting the caliper blue as well. <coughs> and it's a Looks like zoned by a Finnish guy. Probably a Valtteri Bottas fan. And here we have long departed Ford performance siblings. We have the Focus ST here. It's very nice. And then the, the granddaddy, the Focus RS. Actually, that's a Fiesta ST. My bad, that's a Fiesta ST. This is the Focus RS. Do like the red here though. It's very nice red. I really dig the, uh, the anime stickers here as well. It's definitely got boosts. Moving on, we have this, another red one. I do like the red color. This one is a C6Z06. like it's taken to the track often as you can see by all these scars and and uh, also the numbers <laughs> look at the safety belts as well and uh, Laguna pipes Another Z06, this one is blue. And looks like another track track car as well. Look at the just fat slicks, almost no tread. <coughs> and now this is something you don't see in Chinatown often, a American car, Pontiac GTO. Such a nice stance. Such a big car, meaty, powerful. And we have a 370Z in a black and gold livery sort of style over here. It's kind of like, looks like it's on air ride, so it's all lowered down and onto the ground. But that's a cool element here, a duck tail. Advan wheels, these three spoke Advans are classic. Looks like it's rebarreled to fit these, uh, to, to make the wheels bigger. That's a, that's a clean look. A very clean look. A samurai shorts, yeah. Looks like it's an automatic. Would have been better if it was manual, but that's more of a preference thing. 
and we have a CA Corvette. So this is the first mid-engine Corvette. And it looks like the guy has done a quite a few modifications. Uh, should be a Z51 package car. And there it is, engine in the back. And you get this little wing here as well. And lastly, another Ford Mustang. Looks like just a regular GT, I wanna say. Or could be a EcoBoost. Can't really tell. You know, I think it is an EcoBoost. Well, it's really nice. All right, so back to me. Coach got tired of vlogging, but guess what showed up? A Toyota Prius, a white Toyota Prius. Check it out. In the midst of all these cars, we have a Prius. The specs, I don't know. But I know it goes from zero to 60 and never, but uh, you get 50 miles per gallon though, and you know, gas prices are hell expensive right now. So jokes on all these pretty looking cars. Wow, you got the most essential Prius. Yeah. So I'm here with Mike, who organized all this cool stuff. So can you like give us a, a quick spiel about it, Mike? Sure. You know, uh, we start. Me and Chris, Chris Chow here, my friend. You know, we uh, we decided a, about a week ago, two weeks ago, that we wanted to do something to get back to the Chinese community because over the last 12 months, it's been absolutely horrible. You know, all the uh, adversities they've had to go through with COVID. The, the, the people were scared of coming to Chinatown for COVID. And then, as you know, the state shuts, shuts down, the, shuts down uh, all the retailers, and then the social justice riots. Next thing you know, you had the Asian uh, hate crimes. So we're doing this to, to bring awareness that Chinatown is, a, is still here. You know, we need your support because you know, they've been here for 171 years. It's the oldest, largest Chinatown outside of the United States. But um, for the last year, it, it's really lacked a lot of uh, visitors, and especially with a lot of people being afraid of uh, COVID, so they're not going to get a lot of out-of-state visitors because they're not going to want to fly. You know, so we like to get as many people coming down to Chinatown to support all these merchants here. You know, these merchants really need your help, and um, you know what we're doing here is they asked us um, to to bring down some cars because. Uh, we actually have a large car show uh, that's going to be on July 24th. It's going to be the largest car show ever held in Chinatown. We're hoping to get uh, about 100 cars um, parked out here on Grand Street. And the other thing that we're also hoping to do is raise uh, anywhere between thirty dollars to $100,000 that we can pump back into the local economy and into the community. Uh, so today, you know, if anybody's out here, you know, come down here, support Chinatown. You know, it's a great place to come. Uh, a lot of culture, a lot of history, and uh, everybody here would greatly appreciate it. Check it out, even the chat town grandpas are admiring these cars. Uh, we're gonna jaywalk like real chat town people. <laughs> yeah, so we're just walking around Chinatown and then Coach decided to take me here to a rooftop, a random rooftop. So a different view. Wow. Nice. Thanks, Coach. And then right here is the police station, so y'all should know where I'm at if you're a Chinatown enthusiast too. <laughs> well, and since we have a car show today in Chinatown, check this out. The F-250 Super Duty painted in black and white cop motif. It's indestructible. Is it really? More cop cars here. And here we have an old Crown Vic right here. Wow. Classic right here. Crown Vic's are like gas guzzlers, but... I heard they're pretty nice. And then we got the, there are all sorts of like cop cars here. You got the Crown Vic, the SUV, you got the truck over there. 
got the van. They got one of everything. Wow. Where's the cop like Tesla car? So yeah, we're gonna get some food first. One of my favorite spots in Chinatown for Tasu right here, Gumbo. Too bad I'm not sponsored by them though, but I go there all the time. And yet they don't know who I am yet. <laughs> sponsor me. <laughs> Please sponsor me, Gumbo. This video is sponsored by Gumbo. Not. The best tasu in Chinatown. So I'm like halfway done, but what I want to show you is look how many wonton and how many tasu they put in this one little bowl. That's why it's another reason why I like this place. You get your money's worth and it tastes good. All right, so we just got done stimulating the economy. And at first at that car show, we met some people. And one of the guys told us that there was going to be like a little concert going on in Portsmouth Square. So right now it's about that time. We're going to go for a little walk and then we're going to go check out, see what's going on in Fire and Gok. So let's go. So aside from being a Chinatown enthusiast, I'm a huge art mural enthusiast too. And when you come to Chinatown, just check it out. On the, the ground pavement, you got the roses here. And look at this hidden dragon. I want to say I've, these are pretty new. I've never seen these before. Wow. The dragon gate. And then look at this one I've seen before. And then over here, this is the Pengyun. Uh, it's for low income. And then just look at the artwork here. I wish we could like sneak in there somehow. Take some nice pictures. Wow. Yeah, a lot of the Chinese fairy tales. Wow. See, there's hell of people here today. Wow. Popping here in Chinatown. It's good. No way, dude. This video came out like when I was a little kid. Bing Tai Gusi. Wow. And look at these happy Chinese aunties and uncles. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's why people are hating because they're happy. People hate people that are happy because they're not happy themselves. It's popping, the lines are back, so businesses are great again. It's good. It's good to see. Especially from someone that grew up here in this neighborhood. Things are popping again. I'm sure there's gonna be help people here. <laughs> the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Factory. Yeah, it's tight. People enjoying food here. It's a full-on car rave now. Wow. Look at the people. Wow. Good. Good for Chata. So coach, tell, tell, tell us about this DCR thing. Oh, the last DCR? <laughs> 34. Not sure if it's... Technically not. I don't think it's eligible to be imported over here yet, but uh, it's a uh, Japanese-only vehicle. It's one of the... One of the most famous Japanese sports cars ever. R34 Nissan Skyline GTR. Um, if this is able in the old market, this is at least 250. Easy. 250 grand? Yep. Damn! In the open market. Wow. So, it's very rare to see it here because California, you can't really bring these over until after, until after they're 25 years old. So, we got a special one here. Anything before like 1995. So. Wow. I think this one got either got here through some loopholes or something or something you know, risky with you. It's only then to die in
Oh yeah. Wow, so this part hasn't been open for a while. The Sky Bridge. So a lot of people hang out here too. A lot of birds here. So as you can see, it's not the cleanest. But in terms of photography wise, you have the leading lines here. So it's very easy to, you know, take pictures. And then you can also sneak up on all those gambling uncles. All the aunties, all the uncles, they all got their stimulus checks. They're all gambling today. <laughs> nice. It's good to see. It's good when they socialize, you know. It's good for your mental health. This right here is City College in Chinatown. So if you're a, Chinese, or if you're a San Francisco resident, it's free. Check that out. This wasn't here when I was a little kid, so... Good thing, because I would have been pressured to like go to class here when I was a little kid, you know? You know how Asian parents are. I wasn't expecting that in Chinatown. We're just gonna get some food, but you know, ran into a car show. And like Mike said, July 24th, that's the big car show. So if you're a car enthusiast, you wanna come here to Chinatown. And you never know, you might run into some random performances, you know, like those very <laughs> cool Polynesian Islander dance and also getting beat up by aunties. Make sure you don't get beat up by aunties because they're vicious. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until my next adventures, Jack's off and Jack's out. Got this big ass milk tea right here. So we're at the Chinatown parking lot right here, and speaking of car shows, look, there's a McLaren here. There's cars everywhere here, in Chinatown. So car enthusiasts, you might not expect it, but Chinatown is a place for y'all.